Hey, it's Kelly Sparta again. So I want to talk to you for a minute about the seriousness of everything. Mm. You know, as a transformational shaman, I walk people into a lot of really dark places. You know, I do a lot of work with people around stuff that is painful. But I also make sure we have a lot of fun. Okay. And this is the piece that I think a lot of new practitioners miss out on. They're like, oh, it must be reverent. It must be holy. We must always be spiritual. We must always namaste, namaste, right? Not, now, let me be clear. Namaste in its original form is a beautiful greeting, but it has become the cliche of the spiritual world for people who are spiritually bypassing. It's like, oh, I'm so spiritual, namaste, right? And I just, I want to be, I want to be clear with you that being spiritual is not, I repeat, not a spiritual evolution process. Okay. It is more often a bypass. Okay. So, oh, I'm bouncing the mic. <laughs> so as you're going through this, what I want you to pay attention to is how much fun are you having? because spirit is ultimately joyful. It is ultimately joyful. And I don't want you to think that just because you're doing your inner work and just because that inner work may be hard, it doesn't mean that it has to be that way. It doesn't mean that you have to be in pain to do your work. It doesn't mean that you have to be serious all the time. It doesn't mean that you have to, to eschew all happiness, right? The goal is to be happier. So the more fun you can have along the way, the better you are, right? So have some fun. Be irreverent from time to time, you know, in proper circumstances, right? You know, if you're in somebody else's space, don't be irreverent in their space. But in your own space, by all means, be as irreverent as you want. And have fun because ultimately spirit is very playful. And if you will play with it, it will work with you in that way, right? Joy is more of a teacher than pain is in many instances. And joy can be a harder teacher <laughs> than pain is in a lot of instances, but at least you get to have fun with it while you're doing it, right? And so, especially for those of us who are not very good at taking care of ourselves, who are not very good at, at taking downtime or, you know, being loving of ourselves, taking the joyful path is actually a better choice. It's a faster journey than taking the spiritual masochist road. Okay. So that's my message for you for today. Be kind to yourself, have fun, look for the joy in your life and look to expand it. Find the gratitude, find the joy, find the, the happiness, find the laughter and really engage it. If you spent the next week really engaging, being happier, what would that mean for you? Why don't you try it and find out? I'll talk to you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate.